Prost. What's up, machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Life has been very exciting. An absolute dream. Those are all sarcasm. Life has kicked my ass. And that's why I've taken a break from uploading. And I wanted to make this video for you to understand what's been going on. Like not like the total emotions behind everything, but kind of just to bring you up to speed on I'm gonna need a different tool. I think this tool is a little bit better for this application. Wait a second. I think I moved ahead a little too fast. Let's rewind this a little bit. Uh, this is what the frame currently looks like. It didn't look like that when I first took it to powder coating. It actually ended up looking like this. Well, it kind of came out like that. So yeah, it wasn't this. This is the color we're going for, Illusion Cherry. Now, I told Jake about this situation and this is what he... Oh, yeah. That is not Illusion Cherry, is it? No, not at all. That's far from it. <laughs> So I have two of these pretty differentials. There's the front, and you've seen the back. Jason, Chris, and I rebuilt this differential. We used the Rough Country kit. And it looks like this. Their link will be in the description. Also, this, this clamp. I cracked this yesterday. I, I don't know why. Yeah, we broke the Yes, this is probably one of the most expensive stock differentials out there, and I'm not bragging about that. I am proud to say though that me and my friends built this thing from scratch. Now this video is, is strange, and, and I'm strange, and my brand is strange, and everything's strange and, and original, right? So this video isn't to like bring you completely up to speed, it's just to, to bring you up on one of my irons in the fire. As you guys know, I, I have a lot of irons in the fire, and while I've been on this off season kind of thing, I've been working on getting rid of some irons, bringing new irons on, and then completely, like just getting completely rid of irons. But this iron is definitely coming sweet. Everything on this thing is going to be brand new. It's gonna have insane upgrades. We're using Rough Country's upgrade kit. Now these spots here where it's green, that's where I welded instead of bolted this kit on. This kit's supposed to just be able to be installed by anybody, but since we have the luxury of a welder, I just welded them on. But look at those arms. Those arms are insane. We're definitely gonna be ready for some tires soon. We also bedlined underneath the Jeep. And we figured we may as well do the inside too. I'm really not too sure which one is more disgusting, the bills of the parts of this thing or the fact that I'm not, I wasn't even a Jeep guy to start with. But hey, we started it and with the new 3D Machines mentality, we're gonna finish it.
The jacks are now under the rear differential and the front differential. Also this, this kit here, it came with a couple bolts, those bolts there. And I'm not gonna use those bolts, I just, you know, I have my welder, so I just welded it right there. And then threw the big bolt through the back. I know everybody will have questions on this. Me, my other toys, I will bring you up to speed. Just gonna hit them one at a time. One last update, that used to have a key on it. <laughs>